Welcome to Mr. Heaton's Math Lab. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to solve two-step word problems using multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. Let's take a look at this word problem. Now there's a couple things we can do to make reading these word problems a little bit easier to understand. So one thing we could do is read it out loud. And by reading out loud, we can understand it a little bit better. Now, if you're in a classroom, you could always whisper it to yourself, kind of mumble it. You don't have to say it really loud. Or if you, you know, that's not possible, just read it in your head. Another thing we could do is look for keywords. And these words can tell us if we need to add, subtract, if we need to multiply, or we need to di divide. And what we can do is look for some of these keywords to help us. For adding, it could be the word more. Subtracting, it's about something that's talking about like removing it. Multiplication is in total. And then divide, it could be the word divide. Now, the word each could be used both for multiplication and divide, but it depends on where you see it. If you see each within the paragraph or the sentences, that usually means you're going to multiply. If you see the word each as, as a question at the total or at the end here, then you know it'll be for divide. Okay, so let's take a look and let's read this sentence. Emily has three packs of stickers. And we can always highlight the information that might be important. So three packs of stickers. Each pack has eight stickers. She buys five more stickers. Okay, well, if it's each and it's within the sentence, we know it's going to be multiplication. And we see that word more, so we know we're going to add. But this is a two-step word problem. So we need to take this with one step followed by a second step. Well, that first step is going to be these first two sentences. Emily has three packets of stickers. She has three. And each pack has eight stickers. Well, with each, we know that we are going to multiply. So we'll do that first. Three times eight is equal to 24. Now that we have that, it says she buys five more stickers. So we know that she had 24 and she decided to buy five more. How many does she have in total? Well, 24 plus five, if we add that up, we put a line through the middle, four plus five, that is nine, drop the two, total is 29 stickers. Okay, so again, we have the question, but we don't know whether we need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So we need to find those keywords to help us understand. Well, add, we know would be something like more. Subtract would be something where she talks about removing. Okay, multiply would be something like times, total, Divide would be something like divide. Another word, too, is left. Okay, removing or left for subtracting. So let's read this. Sarah has 45 candies, and we'll highlight anything that seems important. She buys 20 more candies. Well, if we see that word more, okay, we'll save that. She then gives 30 candies to her friends. How many candies does she have left? Okay, so it looks like, first step, she has 45 candies and she buys 20 more. So we know we will add. So let's do that right now. 45 plus 20. Okay, if we drop that, we have 5 plus 0, that's a 5. We look on the column on the left side, we have 4 plus 2, that's 6. So we know we have 65. And then it says she gives 30 candies to her friends. Well, she's removing candies, right? We also have this other word, how many candies does she have left? So we know that our second step is going to be subtracting. So we have 65 minus 30. Well, let's see, what is that going to equal? So if we subtract 30 from 65, put a line down the middle, we look at the right column first. 5 minus 0 is 5. 6 minus 3 on this left column is going to be 3, so we're left with 35 candies. Okay, now for this one, remember, we need to figure out what sort of keywords can tell us if we're adding, subtracting, 
multiplying or dividing. Now some of those keywords, say for add, would be like more. Or we could take a look at, say, for subtracting, it would be removing or the word left. For multiplying, it would be the word each, but it would be in the paragraph here where we would see each. Okay, division would be divide, or we would see each in the answer here. So let's see. Four rows of chairs with six chairs in each row. Well, we see each here, that's a multiplication each. So we'll highlight that. And teacher adds 10 more chairs to the arrangement. How many chairs are there in total? So the first two sentences, or the first sentence, talks about four rows and there's six chairs in each row. So we know it's each and it's a multiplication each because it's in the sentence, not in the question. If we saw each here, we would know that we're dividing. So four times six, looking at our multiplication table, is 24. Now it says the teacher adds 10 more chairs to the arrangement. So we're gonna add 24 plus 10. So if we add that up, we put a line down the middle, looking at the right column, four plus zero is four. Look at the left column, two plus one is equal to three. The total is 34 chairs. Okay, now let's try this word problem. Now this time we're not gonna write down the keywords to help us understand whether we add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And I think we can figure this out on our own. So let's read the question and we'll highlight important information to try to figure out how to answer the question. A baker has 40 cookies. He puts them into boxes with eight cookies per box. He then bakes two more boxes of cookies. How many boxes does he have now? Okay, well, let's take a look. We have the first sentence and it says he has 40 cookies. Then it says he puts them into boxes with eight cookies per box. Okay, so what we can do is we can think about this is he is separating out 40 cookies equally into equal amount of boxes. So with that word equals or that word per means that we're gonna divide. So 40 divided by eight, which we know from our multiplication table is equal to five. Okay, so now we have five boxes and it says he's gonna bake two more boxes of cookies. And if we remember that word more means addition. So we're gonna have five boxes plus two boxes. Five plus two is equal to seven. So our answer is seven boxes. Let's take a look at this question. Now it says the classroom has 24 students. Eight more students join the class. That word more. The teacher then divides the students into four equal groups. How many students are in each group? Okay, so we know that we start out with 24 students. Okay, and that we have eight more students join the class. So that word more always means that we're adding. So we're gonna add eight. 24 plus eight is gonna be equal to 32. Okay, now it says the teacher divides. Well, that makes it really easy because now we know we're gonna divide next. And we're gonna divide by four equal groups. So, so 32 divided by four. Looking at our multiplication table, 32 divided by four will equal eight. So there are eight students in each group. Okay, now let's try this problem. Okay, it first says that John has 50 marbles. He then buys three packs of marbles, each containing five marbles. How many marbles does he have now? Okay, so we have two steps. We have a part where we have 50, and then it looks like he buys some more marbles. So we're adding, but what are we adding this time? Okay, well it says he is buying three packs of marbles and we have this word each. Now remember if each is in the beginning here at the top, we know it is multiplying. So we know we're gonna multiply three times five. 
Now let's do that first. 3 times 5 we know is from our multiplication table is 15. So we're going to have 50 plus 15. What is that? Well, if we do addition, 0 plus 5 is 5 for this column on the right. The column on the left, 5 plus 1 is 6. So the answer now is 65. He has a total of 65 marbles. Now let's try this question. A bookstore has seven shelves, and each shelf holds eight books. The bookstore sells 20 books. How many books are left in the bookstore? So when we see this word each, we know that this is multiplication, right? It is in the sentence, it's not in the question. If each was down here, we would know it'd be divide. But we do have this word left here, which we know will be subtraction. So it looks like first we're going to multiply, and then we will subtract. So we have seven shelves, and we're going to multiply that by eight, because there's eight books per shelf. Seven times eight is going to be equal to 56. The bookstore sells 20 books. Okay, well this would be removed, right? And removed is the same as left, so it looks like we're going to subtract 20 from 56. So to do that, we'll put a line down the middle. We look at the right side first. 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 2 is 3. The answer is 36. Okay, now let's look at this one. So a farmer has 60 apples. He gives 15 apples to his neighbor. He then divides the remaining apples equally into 5 baskets. How many apples are in each basket? So we got three words right here. We got equally, we got divides, and each. All of these are meaning we're going to divide. So we know we divide, and that looks like it's a second step. What's the first step? He gives, he removes, he leaves. So we know that that is subtraction. So it looks like we're going to subtract first, and then divide second. So we have 60 apples, we subtract 15, and let's see what that is. 60 minus 15, put a line down the middle, a 0 and 5, we subtract that. We can't do that because 0 is smaller, so we need to move a 1 over, so we take 1. So we got 10 minus 5, that's 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. So now we have 45. Now it says we divide, right? divide and we divide that by five baskets so 45 divided by five looking at our multiplication table that's going to be nine if you're looking to take your math skills to the next level check out mr heaton's math lab we offer a range of resources to help you succeed from free workbooks and common core assessments to focused mini courses and comprehensive curriculum courses head over to www.mrheatonsmathlab.com to get started today